What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to live stream on Twitch using OBS. <laughs> Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now if you haven't followed my OBS tutorials yet, then you can check them out in the description. Basically what I've shown so far is installing OBS, whether it's classic or whether it's studio. I've shown you getting started with OBS and now and then I've also shown you how to add your face cam in OBS. So I'm trying to do it in an order where you are able to follow and it will progress into a better live stream for you. So as you can see, I have OBS opened up right now and it is shown my second monitor where I have Google opened. We will be using Google, but first of all, we're gonna head over to settings. You're then gonna come over to stream and as you'll see, there's service. And what we need to be on, of course, is Twitch. Now, I know there is a bunch of different things you can stream on here, but the ones I'll be covering on my channel would be Twitch, YouTube, and Hitbox TV, just because I think they're the main ones. However, in the future, if anyone does want a tutorial on any of these, of course, I'll do it. But today, it's for Twitch, so we're going to select Twitch. Now, you want to select the server which is closer to you. So, for example, London is the closest to me. Even though it is about a two hour drive away from me, London is still the closest. So pick whatever is closest to you. So I'm selecting this one. And now you'll see right here, it says we need a stream key. Now what is a stream key exactly? Well, a stream key allows us to stream on Twitch or any other service. So this is why I have Google opened. We're gonna head over to Twitch. A link to it will be in the description. Now I'm actually gonna be showing you how to create an account on Twitch. If you already have an account, then you can skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen right now. Okay, so for those that don't know how to set up a Twitch, first of all, come up to sign up. You're going to be presented with this box, just make a username. Mine's just going to be random, and of course there is no spaces allowed, that was an accident. And then you need a password up to eight characters. There we go, choose your birthday. By the way, uh, obviously not my real birthday. And then an email, make sure it's a real email, this way if anything happens to your account in the future, you're able to get it back but for me I'm just gonna make a random one just because this is an example and I'm gonna be showing you the stream key and select I'm not a robot now to select sign up just like that you are now signed up to twitch and now you need to come over to your name and select dashboard then you'll see over here it says stream key so select stream key and now show key is what you'll be selecting. Now as you'll see, you'll get a warning here, never share your stream key with anyone or show it on stream. Twitch staff, admins, or global moderators will never ask you for this information. So basically, if you give out your key, people can take over your streams and stream using your key. So make sure you never show it. Again, I've just created this account, it's a random account because I'll just show it you. And there it is, I'm gonna highlight it, right click and select copy. And of course you can reset the key if you do accidentally show it sometime. Now we head back over to OBS and where it says stream key, we just right click and paste it in. You can also show it if you want to or just keep it hidden. Select apply and okay. Now I'm actually gonna be on Twitch, streaming Twitch using OBS. So we're all good to go. All we need to do is select start streaming. So if I start streaming, we're now live. As you can see, it's asking us to stop streaming, but we're not going to stop streaming. So if I head over to our, or my channel page that I've just created right now, you'll see we're gonna be streaming um, OBS. Oh, we're gonna be streaming Twitch. So uh, let's wait for it to load. And if anyone's wondering why I still have uh, the dog there, um, I don't have a webcam on my computer. So that is the reason why you never actually see me on the webcam and I just put a picture of a dog there. So you can see the stream is loading, my connection is pretty bad, but you can see we are actually streaming on Twitch TV and from OBS. Of course, just to stop your stream, you come here and select stop streaming. And from there, your stream has officially stopped. Now what I recommend when you are streaming is to actually have two monitors, it is very very helpful. Now for those that are on a laptop, all you need is one extra monitor. So if you have a TV, which I assume you do, 
then just connect a HDMI to the TV, then you have two monitors. So you can use the laptop for OBS or the gaming, or you can use your TV for OBS and or the gaming as well. So it's completely up to you which one you use, but two monitors is such a massive help when you are streaming. I remember I did used to stream uh, about two years ago, I didn't have two monitors, it was a struggle. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully this video has helped you. In the next video, I will be covering the best OBS settings and that way you'll be able to get started, of course, with the best streams and the best recording quality. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.